All right, assholes, listen up. This episode of SD Locks SCP Readings has been hijacked, pirated, and otherwise commandeered by yours truly, XGOC Agent, Tech Lure of Type Greens, the most badass motherfucker in the Foundation. That's right, chuckle fucks. It's Dr. Clef. Looks like we've got on the plate SCP-3900. The Internet of Things That Are Wolves. Or, as I like to call it, wolf But they don't fucking take my suggestions, do they? I swear to God. Alright, let's get into it. Item number... SCP-3900, covered that already. Object Class, Euclid. Special Containment Procedures. Alright, recovered SCP-3900 infected hardware is to be destroyed prior to the next occurrence of a full moon. In the case the SCP-3900 is activated in an uncontrolled setting, care must be taken to ensure that no wolves escape. Uh, let's see, uh, one wireless router infected, okay, yeah. One wireless router infected with SCP-3900 is to be stored in a secure containment locker. All testing must be conducted within a Faraday cage enclosure to prevent unintended infection. The presence of an animal handler is required for testing. Seems pretty straightforward. Alright, next up, let's see, here is... Description SCP-3900 is an anomalous, contagious property of wireless access points. SCP-3900 is spread between devices in proximity when both are turned on. This effect is correlated with the overlapping of Wi-Fi signals between the two and can be prevented through sufficient shielding. Uh, Infection requires an average of three days of uninterrupted contact between the two devices. As such, spread of SCP-3900 is limited in uncontrolled settings, although particularly connected spaces do pose a risk of an epidemic. So I guess that's kind of dangerous, right? Uh, Let's see. SCP-3900 becomes active when the infected device is enabled and a full moon is present above the horizon. At this point, a number of timber wolves will appear in the area currently covered by the wireless access point, which then ceases to transmit a signal. Wolf density, shit, we measure these things in... Wolf density? That is a fuck... Who comes up with this shit? Wolf density is typically... I'm still... That's still fucking my brain. Wolf density. Huh. Wolf density is typically very high at approximately one wolf per square meter. Wolves usually display signs of distress or confusion, but are docile. Wolves created through SCP-3900 do not exhibit wireless connectivity and are otherwise non-anomalous. When the full moon is no longer above the horizon, or SCP-3900 is turned off, all wolves in the area, excepting wolves not related to SCP-3900, obviously, what do you think? Fucking, we're just gonna make wolves disappear just because they happen to be in the AOE? Come on. You gotta, you really gotta figure out how anomalies work if you're gonna be working here. It goes without saying. It is currently unclear whether the wolves in subsequent SCP-3900 activations are the same or if a new population is generated each time. Addendum. Oh, God, we're almost done. Thank Christ. During a test on 22426. What the fuck? January, February, March, April, yeah. During a test on April 22nd, 2016, junior researcher Beckett was superficially bitten by a wolf produced by SCP-3900, probably because that some bitch wasn't paying attention. On the full moon of May 21st, 2016, wireless interference was detected around Beckett, and she was found to be uniformly emitting radio waves in a similar frequency to those of wireless access points. This effect ceased when the moon set. Beckett was contained and subsequently instructed to superficially bite D7... A D-Class. I don't know. Who cares about his fucking number, right? She bit a D-Class. 
by the way, who the who authorized this shit? Who's sitting there? Oh, you know what we should do? We should have you fucking bite somebody. Huh. On the full moon of June 20th, 2016, the D-Class began to produce wolves in his vicinity. Just as with SCP-3900, these wolves vanished upon the end of the full moon. The D-Class was instructed to superficially bite a restrained, non-anomalous wolf. I... I'll tell you, I work with a bunch of fucking sociopaths. On the full moon of July 19th, 2016, the wolf's enclosure began to fill with hundreds of wireless routers of varying make and model. All routers disappeared when the moon set. Further testing has been discontinued. Well, thank fucking Christ for that. I don't know why we do have the shit we do at the Foundation. But, that's all we got for today. Uh, I think uh, if Shaggy were here, he'd probably tell me to tell you something about YouTube bullshit nobody cares about. Uh, I don't know, follow him or retweet or... I, I don't, I don't internet. Alright. I need a drink.